Your mind will make a hundred excuses as to why you shouldn't move, get up and go. But your body only needs one reason to, and that's because you can. Let's crush those excuses today and get moving. Welcome, it is Tuesday, the 3rd of September, and today we're going to talk about why the hell you need to stop listening to your mind, okay? Your mind is going to play a trickery on you on a daily basis, and what do I mean by that? I mean, it's early in the morning, it's 6am, you know you've got to get up for work, but you know you've got to get to the gym before work, and you're thinking, oh, I'm tired. Oh, I just want to, I just tell you what, I just close my eyes a little bit. I just go back to sleep. I just have another hour. It's good for me. It's good for me. I need the sleep. Oh, I had a long day yesterday. If, if I train today, I'll be sore. I'll be this. These are all excuses that you know you should not be listening to. You absolutely know for a fact you shouldn't. And what happens is when you listen to these excuses and you don't commit to what you say you were going to do the day before, you feel a little bit shit about yourself. Okay. There's no doubt about that. Give me a time, unless the excuse was extremely valid, when an excuse has made you feel good about yourself. There's a reason it's called an excuse. And if we define it, I mean, I'm not going to look it up on Google, but I bet I'm pretty close when I say an excuse is not committing to something that you know you can commit to. Okay? When something hasn't popped up, that hasn't got in the way, Okay, your mind will play tricks on you. Your body doesn't want to put pressure on it. It doesn't want you to put stress on it. The body is not designed for stress. It is designed for little stress and comfort. Okay, it doesn't want to put you in harm's way in any form. If you look back through history, nothing could be more true than that. There's a reason the body stores fat so easily. It's because it's easy and it's comfortable. The reason it doesn't want to lose fat it is because it's an easy energy source and it wants that comfort and that ease of the energy source, okay? So we could go around in circles with this. But today is another day. Is it going to be another day where you make excuses or is it going to be another day where you crush those excuses and get to work? I did, what, 20 client check-ins yesterday and did I have any clients who made excuses? I don't think I did. It's a very, very good week. And... Funnily enough, all of them people are getting phenomenal results right now. Now, that's not to say all of these people are perfect and haven't made an excuse in the past. This isn't to say that I don't make excuses or anything like that. You know, we need to have that self-awareness and that understanding that, yes, we're not always going to nail it. We're not going to be absolutely perfect. But when we can control these variables, when we can, you know, get up and go and be proud of ourselves. I think that's the main battle that we have from a day-to-day -day basis, is just being proud of yourself. You know, can you get to the end of the day and you go to bed and think, do you know what, I've done my best today and that's all I can ask of myself. Because how easy is it to get to the evening and not be too tired and suddenly you're awake till the a.m., which you really shouldn't be if you've if you've given the, the day a good run. And you have a bad night's sleep because you've not had enough sleep because you've not done enough the day before and you're thinking oh i've got to do this again and suddenly you've not got the motivation because you're tired and then that cycle just keeps repeating however if you get up get your ass to the gym of course you're going to feel good about yourself of course you're going to be more tired in the evening the goal should always be to be tired in the evening because we've put in effort with our lives with our body with our goals if you get into the evening and you're not tired, you're not working hard enough. It is literally as simple as that. Uh, it isn't to say that, you know, we have to only work hard in the form of fitness, but it's a huge part of anybody's life who is trying to maintain some form of, you know, health, good body, um, consistency in the gym, enjoyment in the gym, whatever it may be. You've got to get in there, you've got to get it done. And excuses are going to help you get it done. Now, I've heard all the excuses, and I mean all of them. If you came up with one now, I guarantee I've heard it. When I've been coaching so many people for the last 10 years, I don't think I've ever had a message in the last several years that hasn't surprised me. 
or that I haven't answered before. So if you're currently in a mindset of thinking you're not proud of yourself, you've been making too many excuses lately, you're dying to get up and go, and you just want to be that person who does get tired in the evening because you've absolutely kicked ass that day and just given it your all. And when you give it your all, what else can you ask of yourself? A lot of people get worried that if they put in effort, that they they won't achieve the goal that they're putting in effort for. However, you're not going to achieve the goal if you don't put in any effort. Okay? A lot of people have tried to diet, tried to get lean, or tried to get a better body, build muscle, whatever it might be. And if you haven't achieved that, it's because you've not worked at it for long enough. Look at all the people who you might aspire to. You might see with a great body or be in a position that you might want to be in. The only difference between them and you is that they've given it more time. I've worked with a lot of people who have fallen off after a week, two weeks, four weeks, eight weeks, and wondering why they're not in the best shape of their life. It's like you're not going to undo years and years and years of work in a matter of eight weeks and suddenly be in shape. People who are in this position have put a lot of effort in. If you're, you know, working in a certain company and you're looking at managers X levels above you, probably because they've been there longer and put in more effort all the time, okay? If you're looking at uh, someone with a big business, it's probably because they've been at it for a very long time, they've been through the failures, they've built themselves back up and they've stayed on the horse for an extended period of time and not quit. So that brings me to the last point. As long as you do not quit, you will achieve the goal that you're aiming for, okay? And this is where not making excuses comes into it. If you don't make excuses, you end up not quitting. If you make excuses, you quit. You don't get the result, you stay pissed off with yourself, you stay unhappy, and you'll never get in shape. You'll never have that goal, that thing that you want, okay? And that should always be the thing. You should always work hard at your goals, Okay? There's going to be times, there's going to be times in life where it is harder, do not get me wrong, more stressful times, family issues, all sorts of things that can happen. But the one thing we can control is ourself. The food we put in our body, of getting to the gym, spending time on our health and our fitness is the only thing we can truly control outside of having illness. You can't necessarily control if someone pisses you off. You can't necessarily control if you're going to get promoted at work. What you can control is getting your ass to the gym. What you can control is eating well, because that's your choice. So today is Tuesday, 3rd of September, I believe. Don't know if I said 2nd of September at the start. But make this the day where you stop making excuses, get your ass to work, get that body you want, get that promotion you want, achieve that life goal that you're aiming for, and you'll make it happen. I'll see you tomorrow in the next one.